So it's about noon, I'm about to head over to Mobile World Congress, and then today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you all of the best phones that are here at MWC, all in one video. So I'm gonna just go around and just let's go take a look at all the cool stuff here at MWC. So I'm at the LG booth. Um, of course, I've already got hands on time with this, but uh, this is the G6. This is the one I didn't get to see, which is the uh, white color one, which is really, really nice, by the way. Um, sure, it collects fingerprints exactly the same, but uh, this looks damn nice in a ceramic-like white looking color. It's still metal, but it looks really nice. So, of course, it has a 5.7 inch display. And as you can see here, that it's got this 18 by nine aspect ratio. Check out my video on that if you want to see a little bit more. But here, at least they have some of the accessories. Looks like here is the uh, cover. So it just looks like a standard cover to me. Nothing special about this, but... Oh no, you can see... Oh, that's cool. So you can see your information and stuff through that. It looks like a transparent cover. Not bad. Eh, I don't like cover cases, so I probably will never use it, but... That's it right here. There's a ton of people at the LG booth. And it's all about the G6. A little bit behind the scenes here if uh, Leather Jacket Dude kind of gets out of the way, but you'll see this is how, this is Erica Griffin in the wild. There she is doing her thing. Look at that. All right, so here it is, the 3310. Wow, look at how small this thing is. Actually, they let me have hands on with it without the tether. I know I might have showed you that earlier um, with Erica here, but this is the 3310. It comes in a ton of different colors. And look at how small this thing is, man. This is actually not just nostalgic, but kind of cool at the same time. I actually used to own a 3310. So this is really, really cool. So let me just show you a little bit about this. Like all the navigation buttons are just right there. You just click on it. You have the menu and you can just go right into contacts, photos, uh, whatever you want. There's actually some games in here too, not just uh, Snake, but you can get all kinds of different games. Look at this, Asphalt 6. How the hell are you gonna play Asphalt 6 on this? That, that's very curious. It, you have to actually buy this or something for you to use it, so that's why I can't do it. But of course, uh, if you look in here, Snake is here. It's not the same Snake that you remember though, um, if you are um, you know, an old school user. This is definitely not the same Snake. Um, it's a definitely a modernized one, but yeah. I mean, check it out. There it is. I mean, one-handed gameplay. This is definitely one-handed gameplay for real. Really cool. But, I mean, how long is this going to last? And, uh, you know, how long before the nostalgia wears off? Before you just kind of dump this device. But, they're probably going to get enough sales off of this just by nostalgia alone. I mean, this thing is really cool. I really like it. Now, the camera is actually pretty damn hilarious. Check this out. It launched pretty quick actually, but check out the lag on this camera. And you see the camera there? That is not just a haze or that is not from uh, dirt on the uh, lens. That's just how it looks. Look at that. It's like the camera. Oh, and you're gonna wait to save. No space left on this because like literally there's no space on this thing whatsoever. Um, I don't see a micro SD card anywhere. Uh, you probably can remove the back to be honest. Let me see. Yep, and the back is removable and there is a micro SD card slot right there also with a removable battery. So very old school, very nostalgic, but there it is, the 3310. So I'm here at the Sony booth. Um, I spent a lot of time filming in here, but I just want to show you by vlog. Um, this thing is super cool. It's called the Xperia Touch. You've seen it before. Um, this is not the first time that you've seen it, but this is actually a product now. So what's cool is that this is basically a little projector and um, it's running Android. And basically you can turn any surface into a touch screen and somebody just uh, dropped the phone. <laughs> But yeah, you can um, either project it onto a table or you can project it onto a wall 
and you have like touch gestures that you can uh, do that with. You can see that guy scrolling through with his finger. You can play piano. It's got full 10 point multi touch. Um, it's a little bit laggy sometimes, but it works pretty good. It's got PS4 remote play. I mean, this thing looks pretty legit, but I think it's gonna be super expensive, and that's gonna be the problem. I think it's like, I think it was like rumored to be like 1,500 euros or something. So you gotta think that's about $1,800 US, maybe even more. So you gotta let me know what you think about that. Sony had a ton of phones here. Probably the two most interesting is the Xperia XZ Premium. Obviously, this is the one that's not quite ready yet. This is the flagship. This is the one that comes with Snapdragon 835. All that good stuff right here. You can see it's um, super glossy, super fingerprinty. You're gonna see that on the channel soon. It looks really, really premium. I like the colors, but um, I don't think it's coming out to the summertime. But they have a bunch of different budget ones, which uh, I took a look at over here. This is the Xperia XA1. So confusing, there's so many different ones. But um, this is the budget budget line. Um, and this looks actually really nice for that. It's got a nice uh, finish to it. Um, these have like the uh, Helio processors and things like that, but the problem is, man, the chin is like ballistic on these. But there's a ton of different colors there. Blue, there's uh, rose gold, uh, there's silver, and then you have the XA1, which is um, like the larger display. It's got a 6-inch uh, full HD display. The other one has 720p. I think it runs the same processor, things like that. But you can see this is like just the jumbo version of it. It's kind of super But um, it definitely looks cool. So these are like lower to mid-tier. Nice metal finishes on these. So pretty nice. They say that this is the world's first smartphone with the 4K HDR display. The last flagship actually only had a 4K display. So this one actually has HDR too. So they have a demo here where they are putting up the Xperia Z5 Premium, which is the last generation, to the XZ. And you can see how much brighter the one on the right is, which is the XZ Premium. A lot more colors too. Um, might not translate the camera the best, but you can definitely see it in person. The craziest thing about these phones is that they actually shoot up to 960 frames per second. Yeah, that's not a joke, 960. So what they're doing is they're actually taking uh, samples of this airplane going around and you can literally see the propellers. That's how slow it is, it's absolutely insane. Let me see if I can get this. Hmm, I guess um, I gotta go in here, huh? Galaxy fans will be super pissed if I don't go in here. Well, um, the dupe stopped me and said I can't go into the Samsung booth, so that don't make no sense. I guess this may be like a pass or something I was supposed to have. Oh well, I guess they're not going to get any coverage. ZTE does have the first uh, gigabit phone. Yes, I said gigabit. Hmm, this is weird. Why is Verizon at Mobile World Congress? That doesn't even make sense. I'm at the Alcatel booth. Uh, since Jason left me, I'm gonna cover him uh, vlog style like this. Let's take a look at the A5. All right, so that's why it looks like a club in here. Um, look like they're about to throw some champagne on the ground because this actually has a light panel on the back. And no, I'm not playing. This thing lights up for real. Let me see if I can get this to work. All right, so there it is, the light show from the back of the phone itself right there the a5 that's kind of cool right i think that about does it probably about the coolest stuff here at least in terms of mobile so i just want to kind of smack it all together in one vlog just to kind of give you my freestyle first impressions of uh these new devices that are out so make sure you stay tuned there's going to be some more formal videos for sure coming out uh, i'm going to edit those tomorrow and uh, you will see those so keep an eye out for that so if you like this kind of style i'll do this on all the trade shows i'll just go around and just tell you what i think so all right guys i'll talk to you in the next one how come you can't even see my face why can't it detect my face it's big enough there we go peace